Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about Solana, and we'll be discussing the network state and also challenges that it's faced in recent months, which is mainly due to, of course, the close ties with the now collapsed FTX um, exchange. And also stick around as we dive deeper into the topic and uncover more interesting insights to Solana. And also, you'll hear, of course, my thoughts, whether I think it's, you know, bearish or bullish overall. So, Let's get started. First of all, what is Solana? Well, Solana is a high performance blockchain that seeks to process thousands of transactions per second, and it's designed to be scalable, secure, and also energy efficient. So Solana uses a proof of history consensus mechanism to achieve high throughput. And this mechanism allows Solana to process transactions without extensive hardware or many validators. So Solana has gained the attention of the crypto community, mostly due to its impressive performance, developer friendly infrastructure, and also a growing ecosystem of dApps and projects and of course, sometimes the blockchain actually going offline. So the native cryptocurrency of the Solana network, of course, is called Sol, and it plays a crucial role in the ecosystem, serving as a means of transaction fees and staking for validators. So Sol tokens can also be used to participate in token sales, governance, and other activities within the Solana network. So now let's talk about some roadmap implementation progress. So when looking at the Solana roadmap, it's important to point out that there's a lot of activity on the network. Despite being a new cryptocurrency project, Solana has made significant progress in recent years as it mostly aims to become a top decentralized finance platform. And of course, it's also been named the Ethereum killer. And now there's actually projects that have come out and they're trying to be the Solana killer. So while Solana may not have an explicitly defined roadmap, several initiatives have garnered significant attention among developers. So exploring these initiatives offers uh, valuable insights into Solana's direction and also technical advancements. So Solana's 2023 roadmap focuses on enhancing convenience and also speed by addressing consumer issues, improving blockchain speed through uh, FireDancer, and also providing Web3 capability on mobile devices. Notably, FireDancer is a next-generation independent validator client for the blockchain, aiming to improve Solana's current and only validator client. Solana plans to execute 600,000 transactions per second, uh, significantly surpassing the current average. And at the same time, the platform seeks to introduce Token 22 to improve programmability and also automate audits to enhance security for developers. And as of May of 2023, the Solana network remains healthy despite significant network outages. And Solana has also been criticized for its close ties to the cryptocurrency exchange FTX. And the close ties between Solana and FTX raised concerns about the network's independence and also hampered the number of developers on the platform. However, now Solana seems like it's back on track. Now, let's talk about some key partnerships and also adoption status. So with its impressive network capabilities in decentralized finance, gaming, and also NFTs, Solana has been forging valuable partnerships and also collaborations. By leveraging its strengths in these critical sectors, Solana is attracting partners who recognize its network's potential for innovation and also value creation. These strategic alliances are poised to enhance Solana's ecosystem and contribute to the platform's growth and also value. So here are some notable partnerships. So first of all, in April of 2023, MasterCard collaborated with Solana, Ethereum, and other layer one protocols to establish common crypto standards, enhancing trust in blockchain transactions. Also, Boba Guys, so a retail chain, sought to strengthen customer loyalty through a Web3-based incentive system, utilizing Solana's speed and also affordability. Solana Solana also partnered with OpenAI, which is, of course, a leading artificial intelligence giant, to integrate AI technology for processing NFT transactions as of May of 2023. Helium's migration to Solana was also approved through a community vote, enabling the network to utilize Solana's public blockchain for initiatives like NFT collectibles. Now, let's talk about some notable on-chain metrics. So, first of all, as of May of 2023, Solana boasted impressive statistics, including over 11.5 million active accounts, over 21.9 million minted NFTs, an average transaction cost of just 0 0.00025 with over 178 million transactions and a net carbon impact of just 0%. So after the collapse of FTX and its close association with Solana, the value of Sol suffered uh, significantly and it actually dropped below $10 uh, back on December 31st of 2022. And it, it fell from this all-time high, you know, close in at around 258 
$28. However, it actually recovered a bit after that and rose to around $26. So it was up actually close to 170% actually from that local low. And there was also a recent report by City Research, which indicated that Solana blockchain activity remains high, despite an estimated 50 million SOL tokens being locked in FTX's Chapter 11 proceedings. So now let's talk about the network outages. And, you know, they've been a notable challenge for Solana in the past. However, since March of 2023, the network has not experienced any outages, indicating improved stability and also reliability. So fingers crossed for now. Now let's talk about some events and activities to look out for. So currently, Solana is dedicated to enhancing its network through a series of upgrades, and core engineers are collaborating closely with validators to redefine the software release process, specifically focusing on mainnet beta validators, testnet validators, devnet validators, RPC operators, and other key stakeholders. So this concerted effort actually aims to optimize the performance and reliability of the Solana network. Now, currently it's trading at, you know, close to $20. It's at $19.66. And in the past seven days, it's been quite bearish, right? It's been going down as most of the market has recently. Now in the past month, it has as well. But, you know, I, th I still think that it's, it's very interesting that it bounced off of the support at $9.96. So I think that's definitely, that was definitely a steal considering, you know, it's still up over 100% since then. One interesting thing to take a look at via token terminal uh, when we're taking a look at just daily active users, right, for L1s, we can see that number one is Tron. I don't know if that's manipulated or not. Um, then there is BNB chain, then Bitcoin, then Litecoin, then Ethereum, and then the next one actually is Solana. So it's among, you know, the, the top here. Uh, for daily active users. And I think that's also a really strong sign. It means that people are continuing to daily uh, to use the network daily. And of course, I think that's a great sign to see. So it's active. Uh, you can also see and verify that it's active as well on Crypto Miso, which shows the GitHub commit activity uh, based off 243 cryptocurrencies. And we can see here that ICP, of course, is number one. I've made a lot of videos about ICP, uh, so make sure to check those out. But we, if we actually see here, we can see that Solana is number four with 3,409 commits. And I think that's great. That's definitely bullish. It means that there are developers that are continuing to build on the network. So I think via token terminal, seeing that there are still a lot of daily active users, even in you know this type of bear market, and then also seeing and pairing this with the fact that you know, Solana is, is, is a L1 that is con continuing to be developed by a lot of developers. And, you know, it's still among the top four when, you know, just taking a look at GitHub commit activity. I definitely think that is bullish for the future of Sol, right? Now, when we're taking a look at a comparison, if we wanted to compare it to other market caps, right, let's just say if it was that of, for example, Dogecoin at a $10.2 billion market cap, that would then put the potential price to $25 or an upside of 31%. Let's just say if it was that of Cardano and it took Cardano's position at a $12.9 billion evaluation, then that would put the potential price of one soul to be at $32 or an upside of 66%. And moving even further, if it was that of XRP at $23.9 billion, that would put the potential price to $60 or an upside of 207%. And moving to its competitor, right, Ethereum, if it was that of $218 billion, then that would put the potential price to $552 per soul or an upside of 27x. So personally, I am still bullish on the future of Solana. I think, you know, it looks good for the future of the development of it. So I'm, I'm still definitely uh, leaning towards a bullish sentiment for Solana. So let me know what your thoughts on Solana are in the comments down below. And anyways, guys, if you like this video, do me a favor by minting me a subscription down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.